well we are pulling up to our very first rv park not with the rv yeah we don't have an rv yet this was us trying to just look and see about the pull through spaces and just kind of well, to learn just, yeah we're curious what rv parks are all about and we wanted to drive around and circle and but, see like is it pull through are they all back up what do the hookups look like because we have a lot of questions and we get here it is like gates closed you gotta have a code to get in here there is a phone number we could call we should try that let's try that it's getting serious now Somebody else was let in. Is that for us? They may have a car. Oh. I think they let us in. Be a rule breaker. What if I can't get out? Welcome and thank you for calling East Fork RV Resort. Drive. The friendliest I'm scared. Resort around. Do it. Hurry. With Hurry. Fishing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, what if there's... <laughs> Okay, so we're touring. It the says resort. it says visitors must report to the main office. So report. All right, so this is the main office. Okay. And we are visitors, so we must report here. We're reporting. We're going in. Don't you think we're like wait? Like they have hours, and they close at four thirty. So it's after four thirty. All we wanted to do was look around. And we're looking. However, what if we get trapped in this place? We can't get out. RV people are nice, I think. So what we want to find out is when we bring our RV, do we have to pull? So over here, you can actually pull through. There's like kayaks and everything up here. This is so cool. Now, looks like a little oh gosh, that RV place is decorated for Halloween. They must be oh. like, look, there's like a place to hang out. I know, it's exciting. There's a pool table. We're like two weirdos driving through the RV park videoing. <laughs> this is actually there's really pretty. There's basketball courts. There's a really neat lake. And you can walk out there. So, listen, I wouldn't... I could get into any of these spots very easy. Some, you could actually pull right through. So, that's pretty awesome. Now, if you... It, it, does it appear as though some of the smaller ones are up front and the larger ones are out back? As far as the size of the RVs? A little bit. And so each little spot has a hookup for your septic and your power. You notice that? Oh, look, they have little names of the roads. This is Tom Horn Drive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Wyatt Earp Way. That's so cool. See, these guys pull straight up in there with theirs. That's how we would do is just pull straight up in there. Look at the silver bullet. What do you call oh, those again? Airstreams. Airstreams. That's pretty awesome. There are some really big RVs here. A lot bigger than any there's that we're going to, oh that we would gosh, ever buy. Oh my there's one that's like a bus that's pulling something <sighs> too. So this is funny. So the bus that's pulling something, no CDL required. What? Yeah, you, you could, no, 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 this is a, this is serious. Uh, 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 this is serious. Some of these road, Bandit Boulevard, mm -hmm. Old Corral Court. So this bus up here that's pulling something, a bus that's pulling something, no CDL required, guys. Some of these even have little storage spaces back here. No CDL required for a bus to pull something. That bus is pulling another 30-foot trailer behind it. Jamie? That's a lot. And there's no CDL required on that. Yet, you want to rent a small... I tried to rent a water truck, and my bus CDL didn't wasn't the right kind of Hold CDL. On. Time out. This is what we need right here. I want you to see the tiny little minivan. I'm just wondering how this guy here does anything. How does he? This is all we need. This is it right here. I'm sorry. This is this is the key <laughs> to life right there. Okay. I can 100% work with that. So this is that how up. an RV camp looks. I do like the pull. They're all pull through. It looks like. No, this is this is like a private one, meaning um, this isn't like a state park. This is like an owned campground. Very clean, organized it seems. Not a lot of shade. Oh no, there's no shade here at all. 
No, I know. Something to think about. But would be a good first experience for us by far because these people probably know what they're doing and can probably help us if we get into a pickle. Have you noticed though, we've not seen one person? I thought there'd be people hanging out the whole time. It's not hot. It's it's uh, it's 90 degrees. I guess it's hot for some people. Yeah, it's still hot. But there's nobody hanging out. They're all inside their RVs. Oh, no. But this is... Oh, there's somebody. There's a lady. <laughs> so we just got in trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, the manager come running out because uh, even though they're closed... Uh, she got a phone call that there was someone driving around videoing. That would be us. That was us. We were both videoing. Anyway, she was great to talk to. This place is awesome. Yeah. Now, listen, this is not far from the house, so we would never actually stay here, stay here. Uh, but we would like to come try out and learn how to use the septic, how to use the electricity, how to hook up. And the thing is, Miss Holly, the manager, says, when y'all come in, call ahead of time pretty smart yeah. during business hours <laughs> and she will walk out to our RV and show us everything she'll walk us through and so that's one thing that we've never done well besides cock heel we know how that talk about that guy <laughs> anyway thank you all for coming with us as we tour what an RV park is going to look like now i can't say they're all going to look this way no we, but that was very clean very nice very like well thought had a lot of activities like i don't know might be a fun little weekend getaway i think it'll be a great weekend video uh getaway video getaway getaway i want to get away i want to fly come on away yeah no no I want the light to stay off. I can't turn the light off. No, light off. I want the light off, dang it. Okay, I had to get out of the car. Okay, so Jamie and I are bad, but we came back. The manager told us a secret. She said that once you're inside, if you pull up to the gate, It'll open on its own. You don't gotta have a code to come out just to get in. So we went to I'm a Survivor, did a few jobs over there. We came back and went to Whataburger. And now that it's dark, we came through here again. We just wanna see what it's like at night. We wanna know if it's loud, if there's people partying. And so I think this is a great place to try out the RV. We should be picking or selecting the RV this week. We want to make sure Jamie plays her video. I get to play my video. And then you guys can all give us your feedback. I think on Sunday night during the live, we're going to talk about it. And then we will go ahead and make our preparations to select the one that we chose. We're so darn blessed to have an entire year with an RV promotion. But uh, here's what they told us. This is what a lot of y'all have told us. That when you get the RV, do not take it off on some road trip immediately. They says instead you take it somewhere local and figure out exactly how everything works. Is my light still on? Oh my gosh, it is. Someone's going to see me. Um, I got to hurry. They says take it somewhere local and try it out to make sure you can figure out all of the quirks and make sure you get everything, all the kinks worked out, y'all. And then, you once you figure all that out, then you go ahead and plan your road trips. So that's our plan, to bring it here first. This is close to the house. It's a really nice place, daytime and nighttime. It's quiet like we like. And uh, I think this might be the place we will come first. What was it called again? Anywho, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get back in the car and get out of here before we get arrested. <laughs> survivor. I'm a survivor, survivor. Who will be the ultimate?
Let's survive her Let's find out when you spend the day in our shoes All you creators, our sanctuary is waiting Who will win the title? Well, it could be you Survive or survive